Grace and peace to you, sisters and brothers. Amy Wilson Feltz here. I am the pastor of St. Paul's United Methodist Church in El Paso, Texas, and I want to thank you for joining me for coffee this morning. I, for one, am really grateful to have a warm cup of coffee as the temperatures in El Paso have turned colder over the past couple of days. And like many places recently, we actually received some wintry precipitation yesterday. My kids were so excited to be able to play in the backyard in a thin layer of ice and snow yesterday morning. And then in the afternoon, as the kids were resting, I decided to work from the bedroom and I opened the curtain so that I could see the backyard through the patio door and I couldn't help but be distracted by the snow flurries all afternoon. These beautiful snow flurries gracefully flitted to the ground. They hovered and danced and then fell to the ground. Of course, not accumulating in a way that I could see because the ground was too warm, but the process of their falling actually led me to think about a passage from Lamentations in our Old Testament, and that might seem kind of strange. Lamentations is not really um, a go-to book for many people. It's not full of warm and fuzzy passages. It's a series of five laments that the people shared on fast days to commemorate the fall of Jerusalem in 586. So it was a time of grief, a time of despair, a time of wailing and bemoaning great tragedy among the people in their history. But you find expressions of hope tucked in to these verses. And that's what I was thinking about yesterday. I was thinking about this famous passage from chapter 3 in Lamentations. And I'll read it to you this morning. It begins with verse 22. Chapter 3, verse 22 of Lamentations. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God's mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in God. This is the word of God for the people of God. And so we say thanks be to God. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God's mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. This is what I was thinking about as the snow was falling. Again, it was not accumulating in this beautiful blanket of snow that we could see. It wasn't giving us enough snow to make a snowman or anything like that. But it was accumulating moisture in the ground, which is exactly what this parched earth in the desert needs. The earth needs moisture so that life can continue, that new life can spring forth, and we will see new evidence of God's mercy and God's grace as life grows here in the desert. That's the way that God's mercy works, and I was thinking about that in this time that we're experiencing it. It's full of lament. It's full of grief as we work through a pandemic and all the, the civil unrest and the political conflict, everything that is going on in America right now and in the world. It is a time for us to wail and to grieve and to fast and to recognize that things are not right in the world. But tucked inside those experiences and those expressions, are these proclamations of hope, this trust that God's love is steadfast, that God's grace, God's mercy, God's favor, God's support continues to surround us and to be at work, perhaps in ways that are imperceptible right now. And that's hard because we want to see what is happening. We want to see things being reversed and restored. We want to see God at work. And sometimes it takes a little while for us to see the results. We can trust in it, even in the midst of our sorrow. We can trust that God's work continues, allowing us to grow, bringing forth new life. 
just when we need it the most. So I hope that that's an encouraging word to you. We're actually going to continue to talk about God's steadfast love and ways that we can give thanks for that. As we begin a new sermon series on Sunday, we're calling it Thankful. It's a series on the practice of gratitude. Our services can be found online at 1030 a.m. Mountain Time. You can find us on Facebook, on YouTube, and on our website. I didn't actually plan it this way, but this midweek message works nicely with where we're going on Sunday. So I hope that you will join us then, and I'm so glad that you joined me today. I pray blessings upon you and your families, your loved ones, and I trust that you will see God at work even in the midst of our difficulty right now. Grace and peace.